Um, Mary is asleep, so I'm gonna do a quick video. Hello, hello. So Mary is asleep, and I was rearranging my wardrobe, and I picked up my Chanel GFT, and I was like, God, this leather needs a polish. So yeah, I thought that's what I'd do today. Also, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of my wardrobe. I think it's looking pretty good. Ta-da! I'm gonna give you a full tour soon. I actually need to make some more space because there's not enough room. <laughs> like, I've not got my Chanel bags in here yet. And I'm like, actually there's a couple. There's one there, one there. But there's more Chanel bags and I'm like, eek, I need to make more space. And I've got two, I've got two lamp shades there. Two lamps, I don't know. And I don't know what to do with them. I don't know where they need to go. But yeah, place is a mess. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you how it's looking so far. But I'm gonna do a tour soon, I promise. But in the meantime, I'm gonna polish my GST. Okay, sorry, I just really wanted to show somebody because I think it's looking pretty good. Um, but like I said, I need to find more room. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Anyway, my Chanel GST. Um, I've had this bad boy for a while now. I got it back when I lived in Margate, so that's at least two years ago, but it was pre-COVID, so it's at least four years ago. <laughs> um, and maybe a bit more. I, I want to say it's about five years ago um and it was pre-loved when i bought it but i want to i think i think i got this about five years ago maybe more um and i haven't i don't think i've polished it before i might have polished it one one time before so i've broken my own rules because my own rules state that i need to polish my bags every six to twelve months and i have let this bad boy lapse so i'm gonna do it today um the thing that really made me think I need to give up polish. I don't know if you can see. Let's hope my camera focuses in. But I don't know if you can see, but just the handles, they look a bit dry. Um, the main bulk of the bag looks pretty good, but the handles do look like they need a bit of nourishment. And also, I think the corners look like they could do with some love too. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Um, but yeah, it's always the corners. And the handles, which are the telltale signs, and these edges, because they get the most wear and tear. Um, but like I said in one of my other videos, nourished leather is strong leather. Um, so it's important to keep it nourished. But yeah, it's a really cool bag. It's like a, a bright red GST. Um, it's cute. So yeah, I'm going to give it a quick polish. And um, yeah, it's the handles which really need doing. Once again, I'm going to go in with my with my leather cream. Oh my God, why will my camera, oh, there it is. I was like, why will my camera not focus? But there it is. This is my favorite leather cream and I'm gonna use the same cloth I used before. Um, because this bag is quite dark and I have washed the cloth before, I know that the color won't transfer. But if I was polishing a white bag or a cream beige bag, I wouldn't use a gray cloth, I would use a white one, but because this is a darker bag and I've washed this cloth before, I'm confident that the color won't transfer onto the bag. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get in there and give it a clean. Um, I should also clean my mirror, look at that, that's filthy. Do you know who that is? That's Mary. She loves just like standing up against the mirror and like bashing her hands and then like licking the mirror too. It's lovely. Have a toddler. They're a joy. <laughs> no, she actually is. She is joyful. Um, even though we've been up since 4 a.m. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give, it, give this a polish. So I'm gonna do it like I did to my to my calf skin, but obviously this is caviar leather. So this is why I wanted to show you how I treat my caviar leather bags. Um, again, I'm not an expert, but I have been a proud owner of um, Chanel bags for about 10 years now. And this is just generally how I clean them. So I thought I would show you how I treat them, polish them, nourish them, all that good stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get in there. Um, so I know I showed the cream in the previous video, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of not really a cream. I'd call it more of a gel. If it was a face cream, I'd call it like a gel kind of serum-y cream. Um, and the first area I'm going to do is the handles because I think they need the most immediate attention and then um yeah the cream can sit on it for the longest and um yeah you can dunk your cloth in and then polish with the cloth and then buff off with the cloth 
but to be honest i know i'm holding like a quite expensive handbag but i like to be thrifty and i like not to waste the product so i just go straight in with my fingers obviously better than this but i just go straight in with my fingers and um yeah just rub it in literally with my hands um because yeah it's a really delicate cream so i'm not worried about getting it on my hands and i just think i don't know i can just get it in all the corners a bit better and i waste just so much less product and then when it comes to buffing it off as well i'm not like searching for a clean bit of cloth because it's all clean um so yeah i'm just gonna dunk my fingers in and um yeah just rub it all over with the cream and um yeah i'll do the front the back i'll put particular attention on any edge any side anything that gets a bit more wear and tear and high impact but you can see already it's just looking glossier it's bringing out the color it's looking good so yeah i'm just gonna rub this cream all over i'm gonna turn the uh the camera off <laughs> yeah here's my cam camera strap um yeah i'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute because i feel like i need both hands for this but yeah this is basically what i do i just dunk dunk and rub you know it's not it's not highly skilled um i do try to avoid the hardware within reason but um yeah i'm not i'm not militant about it because it is a pretty good delicate cream and yeah this is basically what i do so i'm gonna carry on basically the front is done now like that's how quick and easy it is um and i would have done it even quicker if i wasn't holding a camera so i'm gonna do the front back sides particular attention to the corners uh, top handles that kind of thing and i'll check back in in a mo hello hello um my god this mirror is filthy so um yeah i have rubbed the cream all over i'm just going to show you quickly so this is the back um i hope you can tell but it looks just brighter and glossier and i've put quite a lot on the corners and the edges and i've just kind of gone in and rubbed it in on my hand with my hands and um yeah i think it i think it's looking good it's just looking it's looking like a better color it's looking a bit more like loved which is what we want we want our handbags to look like our skin loved i'm just gonna get a bit more on the front just for you know shits and giggles am i allowed to throw on here i don't know anyway um so that is the bag all creamed up and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my cloth it's clean and um yeah i'm just gonna buff this bad boy off so i don't know if i'll be able to do this with the camera in hand but i'm just gonna literally a bit like i did with the lambskin just buff it off and um at the moment the bag feels I don't know just a little bit like a little bit like I don't know wet would that be the right word and also a little bit tacky I don't know if you can hear that there we go so just a little bit tacky I should have probably painted my nails before I showed you my hands but yeah it's just a little bit tacky so I'm gonna go over with my cloth and just give it a buff um i might actually give it another minute or two to let the leather cream soak in i always think when it hasn't been done for a while just giving another just giving it a minute or two just to let it work it's magic it's, there's no harm to that you know um but yeah i don't know just a little bit tacky <laughs> I feel like I'm playing piano. Woo! Can't actually play piano. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go make a coffee in a moment. Got a croissant in the oven, not gonna lie. Um, so I'm not gonna linger too long because I, I want my croissant. Um, but yeah, here is the bag. I have put the cream on, I've buffed it off, and I don't know about you, but I just think it looks I think it looks brighter, shinier, more cared for. Um, I think the edges just look a bit better maintained. I hope you can see. I'm going to show you the base edges too. I mean, it's not like a miracle cure. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to make the leather, like, perfect again. There's definitely, there is definitely some, like, long-term damage and wear to the corners. Which, to be honest, if it had been polished more frequently probably wouldn't be as severe not that it's that severe but do you know what i mean um but yeah here is the back i just think it looks 
just looks healthier like it's a better shinier finish it looks a bit more even it looks a bit more loved it looks a bit more red i don't know about you but i'm just like yeah it looks good um in terms of the buffing i don't know if you can hear but there's no tackiness now i don't know if, i think before you could feel you could hear a slight stickiness and now you can just hear the leather yeah the leather um so yeah it feels good it looks good it looks healthier it's going to make it stronger in the long term by the way the dust bag has the original auction tag still on it because i bought it from chiswick auctions oh i can tell you when in 2017 so i have yeah i've had it for um just over five years i was right oh i didn't even know that but yeah there it is it's all polished up um the handles look good they feel better um yeah i just think it's like it's like one of those jobs where it's like you put it off and put it off and put it off and then you're like god why didn't i do that earlier that's like 10 minutes really well spent and hopefully i'm just elongating the lifespan of the bag and i think it looks better and it looks yeah it just looks better it looks brighter more cared for just more beautiful and it's a beautiful bag it's a great bag oh i should really wear this bag more do you think i can get away with this as a nappy bag what do you think um i think i could i actually have a chanel nappy bag it's not technically a nappy bag but it's a big chanel bag that i put my nappies in anyway that is my video that is how i polish care for and nourish my chanel caviar leathers this of course is a grainier leather last time i did a polishing video it was more the lambskin which is or the lambskin or the calfskin it's like the smoother leather it's like buttery soft whereas this has got more of a grain to it so it is harder wearing that's how i look after my chanel grainy leather caviar bags i'm gonna do my boy bag next because I haven't done that in a sweet time and I use that bag loads. Um, but yeah, today I thought I would do my GST and now I'm gonna go put it in my wardrobe. Hopefully I can find space for it because yeah, I've kind of filled that bad boy up. I honestly thought when we did that wardrobe, I would have so much space that I would have like gaps between the bags and now I'm just like, yeah, it's filled up and the bags are kind of crammed in there and i've not even got all my bags in yet and i think i have some stuff in storage still too ah i've got a problem anyway that's my video thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go have coffee and croissant and hopefully have a little bit more nap time mary have more nap time me i'm gonna have alone time while she naps i love it to pieces but i love nap times anyway i'll see you again soon goodbye <laughs>